Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be cooking stewed pork with carrots and fried potatoes. So let's begin. Right, so let's turn this stove on. I'm going to turn it up to number 8. One number below maximum, which is 9. And I'll add about three tablespoons, four of olive oil and we'll wait for this to heat up and while this is heating up I'll show you what I'm cooking. I've got pork here it was a over a kilo about 1200 grams and I've cut it in half and then I cut it in pieces, cubes. I've got about th three four carrots which I've sliced up in wheels today. About three garlic cloves. Um, about three large potatoes which I've cubed up. About half a litre of water. A generous glass of white wine. Some bay leaves. Salt. Sweet paprika, smoked paprika, and some stock cubes, which I'll be using one. And of course, my trusty glass of white red wine. Cheers, everyone. So, this should be hot by now. So, what we'll do is add the pork in. I didn't want it to be boiling hot, you know, where you add the meat and it starts splashing everywhere. That's enough like that. And I'll add some salt. And I will also add in a couple of, mmm, they smell so good, a couple of bay leaves. Try and get a decent sized one here. Okay, two bay leaves. And what we want to do is um, brown the meat all over. So I'll be back. Right, so once the meat is nearly browned all over, I'll add the garlic cloves in. And once the garlic is browned, the meat should be also browned at the same time. And then we'll move on to the next step. Right. So this is all nicely cooked. So the next step will be um, <clears throat> to add a stock cube. I'm just going to crumble it in as best as I can. It will dissolve, don't worry. And also, I'll add a teaspoon of sweet smoked paprika. Um, and I'll add a glass of wine. And we'll just move this about. And I'll cover it up. And leave it there on the same setting, number eight, nine, for about five minutes until the alcohol evaporates. Well, after the five minutes are over, the wine has evaporated, I mean the alcohol. So the next step will be to add the carrots. 
and add the water. A big garlic there. And add the water. The half a litre should just cover it, just about cover everything up, you know. And dun -dun -dun, this, I'm going to put it down to number seven and boil it for about 20 minutes. And in the meantime, while that is boiling, I put my my deep pan here and um, whack it right up so that I can fry the potatoes. Let's just put a few here. I know once it's hot. So we'll wait for that to heat up, shall we? I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um, I'll be back. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to swap these over. I'm going to put that on that because this is quicker. And that I'll leave on there. Turn that back down to number seven. I'll turn this one up to number nine. And we'll wait for that to heat up. Right, so the oil is starting to bubble. So let's add the spuds in here. And we'll just fry these until they're nice and browned. And um, this should be ready. The meat should be nice and soft and the carrots done. Right about the same time when the potatoes are ready. So about 20 minutes roughly. I'm going to leave this uncovered so that the um, juice cooks, evaporates quicker, you know, and um, thickens up nicely. Right, so let's wait for this to be done. I'll be back. So, as you can see, the potatoes are starting to get a nice brown colour. So what I want to do, the thing is I prefer this heat. So they're both on nine. So I'll just swap them over because the the pork and the carrots, yeah, about five more minutes. But what I can start doing is taking the bay leaves out. We won't be eating them. I will just leave this for five more minutes and this, the potatoes, I just turn it off. I didn't expect this to take longer than this. But never mind. Only five minutes. Okay. Let's um, have a look at this. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, nice and soft. This meat is gorgeous, so soft. So what we'll do now, you can see the juice has evaporated a lot and it's thickening up. So what I'll do is turn the heat off completely and these potatoes, I'm gonna chuck them in here. Don't mind the sunflower oil. You're gonna die one day anyway, so it doesn't matter if you get a bit here, you know. I forgot to mention, did you know, did I say, did I tell you that I'm thinking of leaving YouTube completely and starting on my own? I feel like I'm getting robbed here, you know. So let's add a bit of salt to this. Not a lot, 
because I already added salt to the meat and the stock cube has salt also but you check that yourself you know you're the one that's eating it that's if you decide to cook it you know which you should it's a nice simple stew and this same stew you can make it as well with um, with chicken is delicious also exactly the same way more or less I've done a few um, if you have a look at the chicken rest chicken playlist right so this is sorted what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna cover it up ouch that's bloody hot I just move it to one side and then I'm gonna dish it up so I'll be back in a minute well and here is today's lunch thank you very much for watching and goodbye